The winner this evening is from Snail Spit to Medicine. The cone snail has evolved to produce a venom in order to stun and capture its faster prey. And a slow snail needs a venom that's going to act very quickly. It is that characteristic that makes the cone snail such an interesting species to study. If you were to, to speak out your entire thesis, 80,000 words, it would take nine hours. How many times did you practice? How did you sum it into three minutes? I practiced countless amount of times. I did it in the shower, I did it on my way to school, I did it for all of my friends and my husband, which thank you guys so much for listening to me. Your topic was from snail spit to medicine. So there's one drug on the market right now that is using snail spit, it's called Prealt, but it comes with a little complications of actually distributing it to the patient, right? It's administered intrathecally, which means directly pumped into the spinal cord. Ideally, we would like to move forward and find something that would be more stable to take as either a pill or a regular injection in the arm. So that's something you're working towards? Yes. It's not just another pain medication. There's something very different about it. It's very potent as well as not addictive. So it's more potent than morphine, not addictive because it doesn't cross into the brain. So you don't have like the reward sensation of addiction. So you mentioned in your three minute thesis, diabetes, and also helping people with addiction. So explain those two. Has been research that has found that in the snail venom, there is a component that is similar to insulin. And then for the addiction, there's several of these compounds in the venom that target the same receptor that nicotine binds to. So this could lead to a new sort of treatment for nicotine addiction. Best of luck, you will be competing in the three minute thesis competition in Annapolis, Maryland, March 3rd through 5th. So keep practicing, but I know you're gonna do well.